Thank you for purchasing from The Clock Peddler. This video is to show you how to unpack and set up your mantle clock. When you receive it, it will be packed in bubble wrap, so gently unwrap it. Around the back, you need to hang the pendulum. The pendulum's right here and it hangs from the hook that's here on the little T that's in the back. So you just gently put that on the T and that's all you need to do to hang the pendulum. It is an eight day clock so you're going to wind it once a week. The right hand side is the time and it winds clockwise. Wind it till it feels full to you. The left hand side is the strike and it also winds clockwise. You're better off underwinding it than overwinding it and breaking the mainspring. To set the hands, you're going to go clockwise. As you approach the half hour, slow down, allow it to strike, and then move on to the hour. Now this type of mechanism is called a count wheel strike. It is, has an independent system that is not connected to the time. So if the two run down independently of each other, when you go to wind it up the next time, they may not align in terms of the strike may not go correctly on the half hour, it might strike the hour. So to correct that, you actually go backwards with the hand till you hear it go click and then bring it forward. Now it's gonna strike five, but it only reads 430. Now to correct that, you're going to bring that up to the hour, allow that to strike, which now it just struck the half hour. Again, bring it backwards till you hear it click, then bring it forward, allow it to strike. Now it just struck six times, but it reads five. The easiest way to get around that is just to move the hour hand to six and then bring it around, stopping at the half hour and then bringing it up to the hour and it is now gonna strike correctly. Now the clock has been keeping very good time, but if you do need to adjust the timing, that's done on the pendulum. So I'm going to take it off again. At the bottom of the pendulum, there's a little nut, and that's used to raise and lower the pendulum. The higher the pendulum bob is on the shaft, the faster the clock is going to run. The lower, the slower. You accomplish that by turning the nut to either raise or lower a little bit. Small increments at a time, half a turn, one turn, that's about it. Then rehang the pendulum, restart it, which is just a little gentle push, reset the clock to the correct time and see what the trend is over a day or two and then do it again if you need to until you get it right on the button. There's not a lot of maintenance with this clock but it should be lubricated by a professional every two to three years. If you have any questions you're more than welcome to email our Etsy shop, The Clock Peddler. Thank you again for purchasing from The Clock Peddler. I hope you enjoyed the video.